Hello, blessed soul family, and welcome to this spiritual guidance channel. I am the magical medium, and on this channel, I do moon phases readings, and also I do readings and fun uh, stuff in my shorts. <laughs> In my shorts department, not in my shorts. Anyway, I'm feeling really giddy and fun because the Enchanted Unicorns wanted to come and speak with us today. Galactica's here today. The Galactical uh, Unicorns are here today. The Galactic Magical Energies, Forces of the Universe are here today. And I'm very excited to work with them. I'm very excited to work with you. We are in the sixth phase of the moon in Pisces. We are in the waning Gibeus. The energy is reflect and release. Because at the beginning of the moon cycle, we start thinking about what, what we want to change this month, what we want to set a goal or an intention towards. By the full moon, if you haven't had any changes or any signs or any inklings of your vision, dream, manifestation, what have you, um, it's pretty safe to say that you um, are meant to do it on another moon cycle. So release it and let it go. Reflect on it. Maybe there's some things you need to change, you need to tweak, you need to improve on. Maybe it's just time. Maybe it's just bloody time. And I know time is an evil mistress, but a beautiful mistress all the same. Ugh. I have to put my glasses on because I can't tell if this is out of focus. I've been looking around and when I looked back, it looked okay. So I have to check back if it was out of focus. I apologize, but maybe that's because they're trying to get you to focus on something. Maybe you're zoning out right now and they're like, Hey, don't just zone out to, you know, Lula's teachings. Although I will say this, I will say this, that sometimes I listen to readings or spiritual stuff when I'm cleaning, um, in the car, on a hike, you know, whatever. And sometimes you do tune out because if you tune out, a lot of times it just means that you're meant to like go somewhere else in your mind. But when you are meant to hear what you're meant to hear, do you ever notice you're like, wait, what was that? Or turn that up or push that back. What did they say? You know what I mean? It's like the messages will come. And I'm hearing for some of you, um, you know, jealousy is such an ugly emotion. It's, it really ties into dark energy and, um, you know, dark magic. And for those of us who are natural witches, natural healers, and deep down believers in magic, you know that even if you're setting an intention, not, or even if you're thinking a, a bad thought about somebody, you're in inexplicably and unconsciously setting a negative energy towards them and in turn is fucking with your karma as well. So the title of this particular episode is New Fire because in this time and space, it is Saturday, March 11th. Oh, it's an angel day. I think it's actually a 12 day though, which is actually a three day, number three. Um, let's see. So March is three. It's 11, 2023. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh yeah. 12. It's a 12 day. So it's a three. Um, Ooh, interesting. When I looked down, I literally looked at my book and it says number three moon phase taking action. So with that being said, it's like spirit wants us in this real time. Whenever you watch this, the messages are always timeless, but in real time right now, spirit wants us to chill the fuck out. Don't be buying plane tickets or booking trips or doing things until the next astrological year, which is March 20th, I believe, but I just want to make sure. Let me look at my calendar. I know it's a week from Monday. Yeah, it's March 20th on a Monday. There is so much happening around that the weekend, like next weekend. So in real time, it's Saturday. And for those of you who watch this in real time, don't forget to um, push your clocks back because I am going to post this today. Um, I think, oh shit, they may have me post it tomorrow. So if so, I'm sorry, but hopefully you're like, maybe, you know, I think that all the clocks, if you're on like technology, like your phones and stuff, I think they automatically do it anyway, whether your phone is off or not. I know before in the old days when the cell phones first came out, like you had to turn your phone off. Um, but anyway, so I feel like from 11 today, from the 11th to the 20th, which is like 10 days, basically spirit just wants us to chill the fuck out and just breathe and relax and like really be with self. You know, this is a time to go inward because we got new fire coming. 
the astrological, um, the 2023 astrological um, year as it begins and goes into 2024, because it's really a year, right? But it's like, <laughs> I've been speaking about this lately on my other channel too, too uh, as well, Lula's Life, where we were talking about, you know, it's kind of like when you're in high school, you know, you start, like for me, I started uh, my senior year in 1989, but then I graduated in 1990. So even then, it's like I've been thinking so much about even stuff like that. Like, wow, like I was at the end of a decade and the beginning of a new one. What a cool way to like graduate from high school. You know what I mean? Like to like to leave like that. And I turned 18 during that time. So, you know, coming full circle into adulthood. And I feel like we're all coming full circle for those of us who've been doing the work. And shout out to you, Amber. I'm so proud of you. Um, I got the most beautiful message uh, from one of our tribe members, Amber, and I'm so proud of her. And she deserves a shout out because she's been working her fucking ass off. And it is not easy being a young parent and um, trying to figure out your own shit at the same time. So Amber and those of you in this tribe who are wearing many hats like Amber and myself, you know, spirit just wants to say literally like hats off to you, hats off to all of us. Keep doing the work. It just goes to show that if you keep doing the work and if you keep even when it's hard. Oh, trust me, I've I've you know, held their hand and walked with them, beside them, in front of them, next to them, and every way to protect them, support them, love them, and guide them on their journey so that they can make it to where they need to be. And sometimes, you know, when we're on our path, we're, we're supposed to fuck up. We're supposed to make mistakes. That's how we become who we become. You know, and we only think of it as a mistake when it's bad, right? But what if we think of the mistakes as the good things? Because that's what grows. That's how we grow. That's where the growth comes from. That's what grows us. So the Galactic Unicorns wanted to come in today. I'm really excited. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this tribe, a part of this world. Um, just thank you. You guys, you don't even realize. I said this to Amber the other day. I was like, um, I think it was today I messaged her. <laughs> My days are so lost. Dude, I fall asleep on the couch, wake up at one in the morning, and like I'll have like a few hours, then I go back to sleep and I sleep for I'm in my own world right now. So um and I know some of you have reached out and I promise I will um get back to you in due time. Um a lot of times if I don't get back to people, it's because I want them to work through things on their own. And it's not like it's it's literally not my job to um to f fuck with other people's, you know, path because it's their path and their path alone. And I've tried very hard to help people over helping controlling. So if I've ever done that, I apologize. And even now it's like, you know, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. But I do feel like for some of you, there's like jealousy and coveting and, um, you know, of people around you or situations or, you know, and it, it really does, you know, it's like the fork the forked tongue demon, as they call it, right? The duality. You're like, oh, I'm a really great person. You know, it's like, I always feel like, I remember somebody, I said that to somebody once. I'm like, I'm a really good person. And they're like, if you have to declare that you're a good person, maybe you should like, think about that for a second. And I was like, but I am a really good person. They're like, no, you are. But think about that for a second. You know, because it's enchanting words. It's saying, you know, I may have upset you or, you know, whatever, but I'm a good person. Or, you know, this, I may have, you know, talked shit about this person, you know, or did this to this person, but they deserved it. I'm a good person. Well, we're also not the judge, jury, and executioner. So the new fire that we're taking with us in Aries season in 2023, the first house, you know, we're cleaning house right now. We're cleaning house from the last fucking, you know, few years. We're still cleaning house. COVID, all that shit's still coming out. People are talking about how they've become who they are during quarantine. It's like, it's, we're all seeing the blessings of it. We're seeing all the magic around it. And the, the galactic forces, the aliens, they are here. They are waking up the Lemurians. Also, I feel like, you know, when I was younger, all of my friends, it didn't matter if they were black, white, purple, green. Uh, I didn't care who they fucked or who they hung around with, you know, unless it was somebody that wasn't for their greatest and highest good. And I'll be honest, I would say, you know, dude, I just don't think they're good for you. And then say my piece and they would do what they would do anyway, but they would come back and be like, yeah, man, you were right. That dude was an asshole. Hmm. Drink some water. So 
you know, I didn't really know what I was. I just was like, dude, I can't stop. Like, I will feel like I will be the worst friend ever if I don't tell you like how I'm feeling about this right now, you know? However, at the same time, you know, it's good that those friends listen to their gut because you are meant to listen to your own intuition. You know, um, <laughs> I had a situation recently with that where it's like, I kept trying to figure out like how I was going to handle this one situation. And and I've been going through it in all different ways. Like 1018 is our angel number, by the way. Um, if, if you're inclined to look it up, whatever search engine, whichever one you're drawn to, there's your medicine. Um, but I'm not putting stuff in the description box anymore unless spirit has me, has me, asks me to do it. So yeah, I'm just starting to realize like these patterns and things that are happening everywhere within all of us. And we need to have those moments of epiphanies and ecstasy and, you know, the blessed aha moments. We have to have the breakthroughs. And some of the biggest mistakes I ever made led me to the biggest fucking blessings I've ever had. Do you fear, hear me, feel me, you know? So here is our first card. You heard me shuffling. All souls. Oh, all souls go to heaven. That's what I was getting at. And so what I realized is that, you know, I remember if you've been with me a long time, you know, I'd say, oh my God, you guys, we must be Arcturian. Oh my gosh, we must be Lemurian if we're here together. Because there was only, you know, for a long time, I had like 67 subscribers was like, I was happy with that because it was mostly just my people, you know, because when I was doing readings in different places, people would ask me um, if if I, you know, had any type of platform like this where I did, you know, and so I started with Instagram, whatever. And then I finally came over to YouTube, but it wasn't until the pandemic, it was the same for me that I really started to wake up to who I was and what I was meant to do here and all that good stuff. They wanted you to see this because we are all enchanted souls, enchanted all souls, number 24, which is also the number six, which is a derivative of 12 and three, which is our numbers today. Um, for our numerology people, but life is meant to be enjoyed and we don't have to figure it all out and we don't have to have the answers. They're act asking us to reflect on what has been working for us and what hasn't been working for us and be really brutally honest with ourselves and then release that which isn't working for you and start something new. Try something brand new, something you've never done. I mean, honestly, even though I've, you know, I used to, this was actually one of my early decks. It's the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. I love this deck. A lot of you know, I am a huge fan of the Priestess Moon. Between um, one of our tribe members, Anna, and the Priestess Moon, I swear, like, they, like, led me to this Moon Phases channel and doing these readings and bringing out my witch and my healer and my deep down believer in magic and sharing it with the world. It's taken me 51 years to put my energy out there. So I'm very, very proud of all of you, especially Especially all my 20 somethings that are um, in my inner circle. You know who you are. I'm so fucking proud of you. The adventures that you've gone on, the things that you've done, the tasks that you've taken on. I know what I went through in my 20s and I didn't do half the things you guys did. And you're so fucking impressive to me. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so keep going. Don't give up and listen to your intuition. And, you know, sometimes it's not an exact science, even though I may have like a disgruntled vision or view of what you are meant to do. I started to realize that, you know, it's timeline too, and I don't have an exact science to it. Sometimes I do get a hit and I'm like, yep, they're supposed to stay here. Now that just means that like you're meant to, you know, not meant to, excuse me. Thank you, spirit. That's a third dimensional. Those were my words. But what spirit wants me to express is that those are the moments where we have that fork in the road. Do we go this way or do we go that way? You're going to learn the same lessons in this lifetime. You're going to end up exactly where you're meant to. But it's your choice on which road you want to take. And if you're really feeling pulled one way, then that listen to your intuition. Because I know sometimes you guys will be like, what do you think, Lula? Or you look at my readings or someone else's readings. But the truth is you really have to listen to yourself. Because we can only give you so much. This is your journey. This is your path. This is for all souls, right? This isn't Lula's journey. 
That's why Spirit had me start my channel, Lula's Life, right? Because that's my stuff. And I can talk my shit there and I can say what I want to and I can, you know, whatever. And I am channeling and filtering and things like that. But at the same time, they're also having me do these like little shameless plugs of shorts to bring people over here. And, um, and it's like wrangling kittens because there are some days where I'm just like, dude, what is happening? Like, why am I? But I'm, I'm starting to figure it out. It's because not all people are going to come to things, right? Like someone's going to find Lula's life through maybe one of my nature fucking videos. And then like, they're going to listen to maybe some of my kitchen confessionals or, you know, to Lula talk, or they're going to, you know, watch some of my comedy or my dramedy of my acting and my singing and being funny and silly, but also the serious moments that are fucking heavy because we have to talk about it. Because all souls are waking up right now and everyone's at their own level of consciousness and life is meant to be enjoyed. And we are here to show them that, that life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. I was surviving and enduring for too long. I didn't realize how much I was sucking the oxygen out of the room, you know, for myself and others. So I am going to read from the book because the book is so beautiful. If they, I'll, I'll just keep going until they tell me not to, okay? So each one of these beautiful galactic unicorns also is accompanied by some form of earth magic, okay? In this particular card, it is the goji berry, which is also what they call the Lyceum Barbarum. I like to show the book because the book is so great. The Priestess Moon really, really did it in this book. I mean, the thing I love the most about this book is that the 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 deck itself is so colorful. I mean, she's now like, I mean, I don't know if she channels dragons, but I know she channels unicorns, obviously. Um, oh, I wonder if she has a new deck coming out because I have this one dragon deck and I was like, wait, that's not by her. But I was picturing that. Oh gosh, that'd be so amazing if she did. Anyway, I digress, but look up the priestess moon. Um, look up their decks. I love all of their decks. They're so good. She's from down under, um, really tied me into that and it started to make me realize like what's going on, like on the planet right now and what the, what the world needs now is love sweet love that's why social media so much is being exposed in the fakery and the fuckery you know so anyway so the goji berry is their accompaniment and that is their latin term okay so getting back to the book sweet and rich goji berries plump little red jewels are considered a superfood another name for this little fruit is the wolf berry they have been used in chinese medicine for thousands of years to improve liver health on a metaphysical level, the goji berry encourages longevity, vitality, and youth. Now, for some of you, you are absolutely being called to get some goji berries. Make sure you know the source. Navitas, um, in my experience, has been a good company, a good organic company for those. However, as much as I love them, do not eat them like they are candy or Swedish fish because I have found out twice the hard way that they will fuck your system up too. Like seriously, like I felt like my organs were going to shut down. Be very mindful of overdoing it. But if you are somebody who likes Swedish fish and you're still eating junk food and candy and things like that, please seek outside sources like that. The Navitas goji berries, I get them at this place called Grocery Outlet where I live. It's like, it's so awesome. Um, they get things like the grocery stores, the big box grocery stores. Most of them will get rid of stuff, you know, at a certain amount of time. But anyway, grocery, grocery outlet. Look and see if there's one near you. I believe they're only in the United States in the Northwest, um, but I don't know for sure. So research it. But anywho, like the bag that I got, I think was like $20 because, you know, it was a nice big bag and it was really expensive, but I got it for $7.99 at Grocery Outlet. But um, don't overdo it because the first time I had them, I was like, oh my God, they taste like Swedish fish. I'm like, I, I don't even ever have to have sugar. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I will never need anything ever again. If I have dark chocolate and goji berries, I am set for the rest of my life. No shit. Seriously. But I overdid it. And I had pancreatitis. A lot of you know, I was very sick. So I've got stuff, issues with my liver and my pancreatitis because I was a massive alcoholic. Um, but you know, do, you know, whatever your soul tells you, but I am telling you, it is a superfood. It is awesome. I felt so good on it. It was revitalizing. I felt like my skin looked better. I don't know what it helps, but it did feel that like, like that. So the divination says, there's a saying in Italy, la dolce vita, the good life. 
and it's a philosophy of living a life full of pleasure and joy. We each get about a hundred years on this earth if we are lucky. So why not make the most of it? In the big scheme of things, this is such a short amount of time. After all, our life on earth is meant to be a temporary experience. This unicorn appears with a message from those who have gone before us. Life is meant to be enjoyed. The physicality of the human body is designed to experience many wonderful things here on this planet. All souls reminds you that deprivation, stinginess, denial, and self-judgment are counterproductive and to foster a more carefree, joyful, and playful energy. Yes, and you guys, I was getting that energy again about the coveting and the jealousy. You know, it's like if you're jealous or coveting or you're frustrated with yourself because you're not where you think you should be, remember that every time you do that, you are questioning your creator. Now, there's nothing wrong about questioning creation in the process of life itself, but whatever created you, created you to be who you are meant to be. And if you are trying to be something else or forcing yourself, you know, inside a box that doesn't belong to you when you're supposed to be like, you know, hello, my darling, hello, my baby, you know, <laughs> being a total freaky deaky, then be that freaky deaky. That's what you're meant to be. I have talked about her and spoke about her so many times, and I will continue to do so. Not that I agree with 100% of everything they're doing, but I will say Haley Khalil, because she's showing the world you could be a fucking weirdo and people will still love you. If not, they will revere you because even the ones that think you're a weirdo and want to make fun of you, it's they're, they're fucking jealous. They're jealous because you're being yourself. Because maybe you're somebody who likes to get tattoos and you didn't grow up that way. And like now you're like, I want to tattoo my whole fucking body. So it's like, do what you want to do. But live with no regrets because life is meant to be enjoyed. You could, you could die tomorrow. I don't regret any of my tattoos. I, I personally would never cover. The only tattoos I've ever covered were because I had to because someone fucked it up. when You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, you know, but even then it's a story. And I love it because you can still kind of see it in the tattoo and it goes with the story, right? So what's your story? What do you have to say? What did you come on earth to do? What did you, what did you do? What did you do? What did, why are you here? What's your purpose? You know, what's funny. I've been researching my birth chart like crazy lately because spirit called me to. And of course, because Brock is back in the fold. And so I've been like back into astrology and like, you know, really like, you know, digging deep with spirit, trying to figure some shit out. So I don't take it with me into the new year because I'm feeling that hardcore. And I realized that in my birth chart, like I was always meant to be like this older. And when I was younger, I used to say that to people, I, I would go on these auditions or I'd have these, I had so many almost moments. And then I was watching this um, audition for American Idol where Katy Perry says to um, this person auditioning, she said, well, it was actually two, two different situations. One was the, she's like, if this isn't your dream, then why are you here? Because there is a long line of people behind you that this is their dream. Like this is, you know, she's like, if this isn't right for you, you know, it's like, if this is just to prove a point, she's like, that's cool. Like you made it. You're awesome. You know, we want you. But like, if you're not going to come into this competition as a dream, you'll lose is basically what she was saying. She's like, cause these people are fucking standing in line to, to, to be here, to be like where I am sitting here on this, you know, they want to be me someday on the other side of it, you know, a successful, uh, artist. And now they're helping other artists find themselves, right? That's like a full circle moment. But then there was this other one where the person, you know, Katie said, how come, how come nothing's happened so far? What do you think? You know, cause she was 25 and she'd been in Nashville for 10 years. And she said, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know? And she's like, I've had a lot of almost. And so Katie, or she said something like, you've had a lot of almost. So maybe this is it. And she's like, the fact that you didn't give up, you know, and she did, and she fucking made it through. And Katie said, it was like, do you see what I mean? Like, don't fucking give up. Don't give up when your dream is about to happen. Don't like make decisions on your life right now when we are at the end of like one of the most like, like radical, chaotic, uh, astrological stormy years of the century. Like it was rough. 2020 20 to 22 was rough. And we are still at the end of 2022, right? It's like graduating. Like we're about to graduate into the first house of Aries of 2023, you know? 
So let go and leave the past behind. This is your destiny. You were put here for a reason, myself included. It's like some of the videos like that. I want to make the craziest, weirdest videos. And and then I'm like, if they don't get likes, I like, I don't, I, I delete them or I get rid of them. And I'm like, and Spirit's like, why are you doing that? And then Haley started putting out these videos where I was like, dude, that's, I did fucking videos like that too, where people would be like, dude, she needs to be on medication. But like when I had my friends, like when I used to hang around with my friends and we were drunk, I would do shit where they would like be like crying, laughing, where my friends would be like, seriously, I'm like peeing myself, like, stop it, like, stop it because I'd be such a fucking weirdo but it's because I was just being myself and like you know just taking the piss out of things because life is meant to be enjoyed and laugh at you know especially when shit would get rough and my friend was like really like you know killing it like with tears and they're just like I, I was like what do I do to get them out of this this rapture of emotion you know so I would do 2538 so I would do like the craziest fucking shit to make my friends laugh and they would like laugh you know and then I'd be like laughter through tears is my favorite emotion you know from like <laughs> Magnolias and my friends be like dude thank you so much I love you you know um because shit's ha it's hard out there so you know be yourself especially now we need comedy and joy and color and life and exuberance I want you to color yourself crazy in 2023 as, as 2024 astrological year when Aries season you know comes in yeah we're gonna feel beat up right it's not gonna be a, a aha moment or a light switch moment it's actually interesting that Ostara and um we're having all these like like astronomical you know cool energies happening on March 20th yet the new moon in Aries starts the day after but it's still within 24 hours right that energy because that's just our Gregorian cal calendar earth to give us timelines but time doesn't really exist it's all basically at the same fucking time it's like a celebration of life for the angels, for the, for the healers, for the deep down believers, the aliens. We're all here. We're meant to be here. We're fucking aliens. We are extraterrestrial. You know, they've been having me. I've really been pulled back to Rihanna again, too. And I remember when Rihanna first came out and I was like one of the first people in my circle anyway, that even knew who she was. And I was like, have you guys heard this fucking Rihanna? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, they're like from somewhere else, man. And it's like, there's just so much awesomeness happening on the planet. There's like a rise of angels, a rise of power, a rise of magic. It's happening. So allow 2023 to be the most exuberant, most fun, awesome year you've ever had. Allow yourself to release and let go of the past so that you can move forward with so much zealous and life and love in your heart. And interesting, like where the colors are on this card, because I'm quite sure sure that the priestess moon is familiar with the um, chakra colors because they actually have a card in this deck that shows the the chakras so it's interesting that they have um like the root it's almost like because like to me i feel like this is the heart chakra but yet here's the green and it's like trying to remember remind our sacral chakra not to forget the heart chakra and that when you look at it our chakras they may be like oh these are your chakras down the line but at the same time it's all there even the cross is like kind of blowing my mind right now i don't even know if i've ever really seen that before and for my for my people who grew up religious or are still religious but love these readings you know let me tell you something I had this amazing conversation with this uh, gentleman who's home free and who's um, an ex addict you know one day at a time when I when I met them they were sober and had been sober for a while but they were so expressive and explicit in addiction and the earthly matters that have destroyed us and we had this beautiful conversation about Jesus he was out you know promoting you know Jesus and and the church and, and Christianity and all that and I was like hey brother I'm not gonna like you know tell you who you should and shouldn't be but we were just drawn to have this conversation and we ended up like like hugging and holding each other at the end it was really cool but um I I spoke of the cross and I told him how I woke up that morning with Jesus in my heart and I asked Jesus to walk with me and that all the way to our destination I was like holy shit I'm like look at those three crosses I'm like how fucking crazy I just asked Jesus to walk with me today and my husband's like dude they've been there they've always been there they've been there since I was a kid because you know he's from this area he where we moved to is like him coming home basically and um his mom's from this area so he grew up coming here and long story short i saw so many cross things all the way there that had been there forever i i can't tell you how many times i've passed it i didn't notice them at all and so i said to him i go you know i feel like the only main message i get from jesus all the time which is interesting that jesus is in the throat chakra 
right? Speaking your truth. That's what Jesus did. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably not an accident. Uh, you know, there, there are no accidents. You know what I mean? Whether it was intentional through priestess moon or not, you know, it's like, while she was doing it, spirit was working through her. So, um, I said, I, I, I know that Jesus dislikes the cross. I know that he doesn't like that as his symbol. He likes the dove. He likes the fish, but he's not very happy. In fact, I feel anger around the cross. Ooh, 3001, which is 13 also. And the number 31, which is four, uh, four is about stability. And we come down to two and the lowest denominator one. So whatever that means there, but also right two like two lines across each other. Jesus is like, maybe give me an X, like that's cool, you know, um, cause I'm going to like, you know, take the, the, the X off your mouth, the tape off your mouth. It's like, if we turn the card this way, it would be more like an X, right? Like, like X marks the spot for our throat chakra to speak our truth. Um, but he said, I, I just never understood why they wanted to do that. You know what I mean? Like basically me talking to Jesus as if he was human back in his human life, you know, but obviously he knows now and all that, obviously, you know, but it was just like this kind of conversation we had together. And he said, um, imagine if you were, um, killed in a car accident, it was brutal. Like your blood's everywhere. And like, you're like sliced through like your body. I was like, Oh my God, Oh my God. Okay. Jesus, I get the picture. And he's like, imagine if everybody carried that everybody who loved you and like, you know, wanted to let the world know that they supported you and were a part of you or whatever. He's like carried that picture around on their neck. He's like, isn't that fucking weird? And I was like, and it changed everything for me. So I'm like, I'm not even telling you like, or I'm not even kidding you how much like it changed everything for me. And I literally can't look at the cross any other way now. It's like, I don't. So for me personally, it's like, you know, I don't want you, that's me personally, but it's just food for thought. You know, it's like, if you want to give Jesus a symbol, you know, he's like, give me the dove with the peace sign. Give me a peace sign, you know, whatever. He's like, give me an X, right? But like X marks the spot, love. <laughs> but he's like, no. Anyway, so I don't know. I just was pulled to share that with you guys. Okay, so. The unicorn appears with a message from those who have gone before us. Life is meant to be enjoyed. The physicality of the human body is designed to experience many wonderful things here on this planet. But it also experiences horrific things, doesn't it? We don't need the horrific things to remind us that it happened. You know, that's why people are like, I love my scar. But it's not an exposed wound, is it? No, it healed, it closed, and it's a scar. That's a reminder. But we don't need the exposed wounds and the open wounds, we want to heal them. And it's okay to leave the scar. That's what I feel like. That's what the cross is. It's like a scar, you know, so you can interpret it anyway. All souls reminds you that deprivation, stinginess, denial, and self-judgment are counterproductive and to foster a more carefree, joyful, and playful energy. Many forms of self-abnegation such as restrictive or punishing regimes, working long hours, or saying yes to things when you want to say no, saying yes to things you may hate be, may be a type of approval-seeking behavior based on guilt or a fear of judgment. No one is getting off this earth alive, and many metaphysical texts state that humans take themselves far too seriously. Relax. And start to do the things you truly love to do with your life, even if it means spending a little more time and money on long cherished dreams. Now, each one of these cards also has what they call unicorn magic. So I would love for you to take a screenshot of that and work with that unicorn magic, okay? It says the unicorns bring you a recipe for a little love charm, but this is a self-love charm and a reminder to be kinder to yourself. Now, here's the love charm, okay? You And you just pause this and take a screenshot, okay? So, here is our all souls charm. One tablespoon goji berries, one rose quartz. Okay, I don't have rosy, ro rosy berries. That's cute. I don't have goji berries, but I do have a rose quartz. <laughs> this was a unicorn, but um, I used to sleep with it in my hand and it broke. <laughs> the unicorn top and the face broke off. <laughs> Now it's my dragon. Anyway, so a tablespoon of goji berries, one rose quartz crystal, 
a 20 centimeter square cobalt blue cloth, one orange ribbon, three drops orange essential oil. Okay, now I'm like, I really feel like we need to do this. I, it had, you know what I mean? I Maybe I'll do this for a short, so I'll go and get some goji berries. Place the goji berries and rose quartz into the blue cloth and tie with orange ribbon. Anoint the pouch with the orange essential oil. Keep this charm under your pillow and it will remind you to do the things that you love more often. Yes, this is your journey, my loves. It's not somebody else's journey. This is yours. This is your, like, this is what you're meant to do. You know what I mean? So I feel like letting somebody else tell you who you are is going to be the death of you. Do you know what I mean? The life and the death of you. Um, because I feel like the life is being sucked out of you because you're not enjoying it. You feel like you need to do the Jesus thrashing, you know, like from um, those those stories of, you know, the monks who like beat themselves, you know, with the with the whips on their back because Christ went through that. So they should feel that pain. And it's like he's like, no, I went through that pain so that you never have to go through that pain. And he's like, and I'm just an example of one human that goes through pain every moment right now. As I'm doing this reading, as you're watching this reading, there are children, there are animals, there are humans that are suffering somewhere on, in the world. Absolutely. Positively. Without a doubt. It is our job to stop. It is our job to help. We are meant to stop and help. And if this is your first time here, welcome. But this is your mission from spirit. This is your, your message. It's time to help. Oh, number 30, snacks. Release judgments around food. Yes. Also for some of you, um, it's the opposite. It's like... Um, like you never allow yourself to cheat. And if you do cheat, you're like, I'm gaining weight. I'm blah, blah, blah. But remember, like when spirit has us quote unquote cheat, like when, when spirit has me cheating with sugar, it's usually um, something I need to go through because for me personally, uh, any type of refined sugar brings out my demon. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It really is. But it's so like on the money. But I can make, a, I can make something like this, this beautiful strawberry dessert. I can make this with no sugar and, and with all natural stuff. And you would love it more than like some fake shit that you would buy at the store. However, once in a while you want to have that fake shit from the store. Have you ever had an impulse purchase, you know, whether in line at the grocery store, the convenience store, you know, whatever, wherever you are, you know, maybe you're buying health food and then all of a sudden you're just like, I don't fucking care. I want Reese's peanut butter cups today. I don't want the healthy, unreal brand, you know, peanut butter cups. I want, you know, Trader Joe's peanut butter cups. Trader Joe's peanut butter cups are like my guilty pleasure when I really want sugar. But I'm telling you that shit will send me soaring. <laughs> and but I usually have some amazing breakthrough at the end of it. And so they don't want you to feel bad about yourself. Sometimes we... <clears throat> need to speak our truth and we need to eat what we want to eat and use our throat chakra and say, you know what? That's okay. In fact, Selena Gomez is speaking her truth right now. She's all over the internet, all this shit that's going on with these mean girls. I don't know what's really going on, but karma, I'll tell you what, the one thing about Saturn and Pisces, we are now officially in Saturn and Pisces. And if you have not watched my other readings that I've done in the last week, you know, interestingly enough, a lot of people shot to the pick a reading for the Saturn and Pisces, but I highly recommend you go back to the full moon in Virgo meets Saturn and Pisces because that whole episode was mostly about the Saturn and Pisces and what's like coming up. It was a great, that was um, downloading through spirit. It was so fucking good. I highly recommend you go and watch it. And if you haven't seen the pick a reading for the Saturn and Pisces, the forecast for the next three years, I think I say three months, but I meant to say three years because uh, it is. Uh, sorry, I keep... <laughs> I'm like, my cat's litter thing is like next to me and I keep kicking it. So it's like crackling plastic. Um, anyway, I digress. This is your time to shine and not give a shit what you look like. Look at, what did I say? Today was um, a 12 day, but it also comes down to number three. So we had six and three, two numbers that are associated with what's going on right now. So you may want to also look up angel number three. Uh, three is so beautiful. There's so many things I want to tell you right now, but I feel like they want me to just kind of read a few things from this and wrap it up. So, oh, that's so funny. I my this went to three. I was looking for 30 and it went to three and I'm like, wait, that's not the card. I was like, hold on. But wait, can we just talk about Katy Perry right now and fireworks? 
another empathic angel light worker out there like saving souls one at a time. I almost feel like for some of you who are in shadow, oh boy, you want to wake up, listen to Katy Perry, especially that song. Because baby, you're a firework. And actually the song that that person that I was talking about that did the audition literally sang, was singing Katy Perry back to her. And Katy Perry said, okay. Like, she's just like, mm, you're pretty brave because I'm going to be really fucking tough with you about it. Instead, she ended up singing harmony with her. And like Luke and, and Lionel were like, what is happening right now? They're like, holy shit. They're like, what is happening right now? They're like, she doesn't do that. But it was like so beautiful. And I just, it was such a great moment. And, you know, another artist supporting another artist, another fucking, you know, alien recognizing another alien, you know, beautiful creature that is here to change the world. I mean, she's 25 and she comes in with two fucking ponytails on either side of her head, you know, like she doesn't care. Cause she looked fucking cute and she was awesome. And she, I don't remember their name. Otherwise I would speak it. But anyway, I just, I just want you guys to be the firework that you're meant to be too. And don't care about your weight. You know, Selena Gomez is showing us like, she's like, listen, I've got some physical health issues going on right now. That's like the least of my worries. She just wants to make sure that she feels good and happy about herself and her life. She doesn't need to be a fucking stick figure. And whether or not, you know, the, of those models, you know, were making fun of her or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like, it's just giving people perspective. Cause now there's all this shit coming out of the woodwork from people who went to school, you know, um, with Haley Bieber again I don't know if it's true but just so much shit's happening and I'm like wow if this is her karma I don't know I don't know and I'm not judging any of it I'm just speaking my truth and what I've witnessed um but I'm like that's the real shit that's happening right now no spirit doesn't want any of us to suffer by any way shape or form but at the same time they're like you know even if there was a hint of her in her thoughts or in their thoughts when they did that it's coming out you know what I mean? Everything we think, everything we do. So when you start thinking a bad thought about somebody or you start thinking jealousy, instead revere them, right? Because Saturn is either meant to be feared or revered, as stylecaster.com says, right? Now, if that is true, right, then we, when, we, then when that comes up, that's an ugly thought. That's fear of our own inadequacy. So instead, let's revere that person and go, wow, they're doing that. I can do that too. And I'm going to do it my way because I did it my way. Okay. You know, so don't, um, and also psychedelic just open. So I feel like for some of you, um, don't judge yourself either. If you're into psychedelics, um, I know so many people who like work art and do art while they're on psychedelics. Don't let anybody tell you anything. Also look at wisdom from the fairy folk. So maybe it's time for some of you and look at it's on page 94, which is also the goddess number and the witch, the number of the witch. So there's a lot coming through. I'm like, I feel like there's like all these messages as I'm trying to find the actual one I want to read, but it's, I don't know if they want us to. Okay. They do. Cause I was like, for a minute, I thought they didn't want us to find it. Okay. So release judgments around food, strawberry. So strawberry, and look at that. It's on 110 and look at 111. Like the angels are talking to you right now. So to wrap this up, they say strawberries have long been associated with love and happiness. Their sweet berry heralds late spring, early summer, and the start of outdoor parties. Yes. woohoo! And for those of us who um, are going in, this is what's so beautiful about this um, is that for some of us who are in the Southern Hemisphere are going into uh, fall, right? And that like late summer vibe, it's kind of the same thing. Okay. So just read it from wherever you are. So, joyful gatherings often feature strawberries, whether in a glass of champagne or decorating and flavoring a delicious dessert. On a metaphysical level, strawberries encourage us to enjoy the sweet things in life, happiness, abundance, and sensuality. The divination of this card is, this card appears when you or others around you have been judgmental about food choices. Be gentle on yourself. We live in challenging times where food has been de demonized. Some food is considered quote unquote good while others are considered or deemed quote unquote bad. And the types of food that are good and bad swap around all the time. Don't they? I remember when they were like, avocados are filled with fat. You shouldn't eat them. And then someone came back and was like, actually, avocados are very good for you. And they're a fruit and it's good fat, right? And one of our tribe members, Zoe, she lives um, on a beautiful farm 
uh, in Hawaii for four months and ate off the land. I've been speaking about this a lot lately because the pictures they showed me were like amazing. And she's like, look at this custard that came out of this fruit. Like it really tastes like custard. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Like there's so many things from the earth that we can get. But if you live somewhere where you can't get it, no one's demonizing you. You know, you can get like goji berries. When I, when I got them, they were um, dehydrated. And I was thinking maybe spirit wants me to get goji, goji berries and like, you know, from somewhere organic, whatever, and like make them myself and eat them that way instead of having them where somebody dehydrated them, you know, because maybe my stomach can't digest them. Right. It's like, we don't just like automatically, you know, I, I mean, obviously if you're allergic to strawberries or something and your body's breaking out, that's your body telling you that it doesn't want it. Um, but it could be another dessert. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just about listening to our bodies. Look at the hearts all around on their cute little, like the ends of like their like dreads or ponies or whatever you want to call them. You know, it's like, they're so cute. Hold on. They wanted me to do that because you see how spirit is behind you. They got your back. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your higher self. Spirit is you. So spirit saying, listen to your intuition, especially when it comes to diet. You know, if your body likes meat and you are getting it from a source or whatever, and I, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I can just tell you for me personally, vegan, like changed my life, like changed my body. But I did have to get supplements like in my food, like nutritional yeast and liquid amino acids. And I had to, you know, so if you're, if you're, um, um, Oh, and this is, I hope this is okay, but like one of our tribe members mentioned that they were having fainting spells around their moon, around their period. And, um, and my husband, like right off the bat was like that she's missing something in her diet. She shouldn't be passing out like that. Like he just like said it like instantly, like, you know, so if, if there's something going on with that, you know, check in with your diet and use your pendulum, you know, use, um, you know, muscle testing, things like that. Um, I personally feel like, I, in my own experience, muscle testing, I feel like for some of us who are really powerful, you can control that too. I know you can control your pendulum, but I've, in my experience, I've had better like with my pendulum than muscle testing. That's just me. You do what works for you. Okay. Um, so that's very interesting. Okay. So we live in challenging times where food has been demonized, right? We talked about that. For example, avocados. Yes. I swear to God, I didn't even see that, but, uh, but it's probably from this and spirit. I was just channeling. For example, avocados, butter, and eggs, once considered bad for you, are now thought of as superfoods. You can be forgiven for being confused. No one food is intrinsically good or bad. Everyone has the right to eat what they want when they want to. One of the great joys of this physical existence is delighting in the variety of delicious food and drink available on this abundant earth. This unicorn appears when you have been struggling with finding the quote-unquote right diet and nutrition or labeling what you eat as right slash wrong and creating feelings of guilt and resentment around food. It's unnecessary. There's a lot of information available about the perfect diet, but remember one size does not fit all. What works for one person may be damaging to another. Check in with your inner guidance. What would you love to eat or cook? This is what your body wants. Let go of the ego and allow yourself to enjoy food without attaching any labels to it. Here's the unicorn magic. This unicorn encourages you to cook and eat something you've been meaning to try for a long time, but have been putting off due to guilt slash judgment slash expense. This type of kitchen magic can be a very healing process and help you get back in touch with food as a source of pleasure. Cooking for yourself and others is an act of love and nourishment. Also, um, the water wheel, you guys, I just... Um, put a shorts up. I don't know when they're going to have me post this shorts, but I just did a shorts about this. And I feel like if you're drawn to this, you, uh, there's a, another message inside of here, but interesting that, that this came after that about ending the struggle for some of you, it could be eating disorders. Um, you know, you're trying to be perfect. You're trying to look like this. And now listen, I, you, you know, I don't talk out of school. Okay. I'm just showing a perception. I worked in the modeling industry and the fashion design world. I worked in the beauty world as a wardrobe stylist. I worked in the world of beauty for a very long time. I still, we all live and work in it, don't we? Right? So uh, what I got from spirit was that it is time for us to stop looking at outside influences. And, you know, this is just a perception. Again, I'm not starting shit. It's just a perception. But I know that I worked with models that starved themselves to death because they had to, to stay that shape. And I worked with models that could eat whatever the fuck they wanted and stayed that shape. 
And I had one runway show, which was one of my favorite. And it was my last fucking runway show that I ever worked. I was working as the head wardrobe stylist for the Chanel, a Chanel show. And um, it was really cool. And I had like some really great moments. But one of my favorite moments from that was it was really hot and all the models had to take their coats off because it was like brutally hot and it was for a winter show. But, you know, they always do them the seasons before. Right. So it was summertime. It was in Chicago. It was like 100 degrees. It was like fucking 100 percent humidity. It was awful. We were in this like back room, not even like a backstage. It was like this back room, like in the basement of the Chanel on, on Michigan Avenue. Um, it's their flagship store in Chicago. And it was like, they hadn't had a show there in forever. They having this anniversary show. It was the Paris Shanghai collection. For those of you who remember from Chanel, it was really phenomenal, but those fucking coats were like off the chain, like hot. And then they had like furry boots. And so, um, one of the models, uh, was about to pass out and I was like, take your coat off, take your coat off. And I knew her really well. And she didn't even like hesitate. She took her coat off. She had nothing on underneath it because we were moving through changes really quickly. And so that's very normal in the kind of supermodel and all of the modeling world, but definitely at that caliber, you know, it's not about TNA. And it was actually really funny. I'm talking out of school a little bit because, um, they also had the food in the same location. And you should have seen these waiters walking by with these gorgeous fucking like they didn't even they're like alien beautiful you know perfect what we would consider perfect right and uh this kind of patriarchal society of like body breasts and whatever but you know they're used to it they're like you know they used to say to me you know I'm a hanger like that's my fucking job I'm just supposed to make the clothes look good so anyway she took off her jacket and took off her coat and a lot of people started to follow suit and so um there was this one and she wouldn't take her coat off which i understood she was 15 years old it was her first show she was you know i don't want to take any you know luckily she didn't have a fur coat on so we just like put the fan on her we were like kind of babying her it was her first big show and um And all of a sudden, like, I saw these models and they were like, you know, kind of like talking about, you know, her, the one that took off her coat first. And then I, she, they were talking with some of the dressers and I heard one of the dressers say, dude, like fucking eat a cheeseburger or something. And she fucking turned around. She was a badass. She was from Chicago. I cannot remember her name right now, but she turned around and she looked at her and she goes, yeah, what, what? You got a fucking problem with me? And her fucking salsa in Chicago came out. And like, that's why she and I like loved each other. We worked. That was like my third show with her at that point. Um, and, and I, and I dressed her from the first show I had her to the other show. She was like, I want her to dress me, you know, because, um, we just clicked and like, I was really fast and stuff. And so <laughs> she just was like, you know, you can fucking hate on me all you want, bitches. She's like, but after this, I'm going to have a cheeseburger and I'm going to drink beer and I'm not even fucking going to gain a pound. So fuck off. Like she was just like, cause she was just like, Hey, like don't hate on me because I'm like, yeah, she was, she was pretty fucking perfect. I mean, I, I wouldn't lie in my eyes. I, I, I would think a lot of women would probably want to look like her, you know, because she had an ass and she had tits and she, but she was lean. She reminded me of Gia. Do you remember Gia? She was a famous model. Angelina Jolie played her in the movie version of her life. Oh, very sad. Um, but she was like a Gia and so fucking like awesome. She was beautiful inside and outside, but at the same time, she was just like, don't fuck like fuck off. Like I hear you bitches, like stop talking about me. And, um, you know, she didn't, it wasn't about that. Like, you know, cause the, the boys were flirting with her and she was like, yeah, what's up? Like, she's like, yeah, look at my tits. Like she was fucking awesome. That's who she was. That's who she was. So, you know, some of us, I used to joke and say, I look at food and gain weight because it was like that for me. I have to really work at it. And I had a full circle moment today because I was putting oil on my knees. My knees are like, it's the end of winter. I haven't been exercising as much. And I was putting, you know, some essential oils on to kind of loosen them up. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm from like fucking Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz. And I looked and I was like, dude, my legs are so chubby right now. Like I haven't worked out. And I just, and Spirit's like, don't be hard on yourself. It's okay. Like it's the end of winter. Like spring is here. Like you will be yourself again soon. Like don't do this to yourself. And I was like, thank you so much. And I had a full circle moment because you know what? I almost died and I was 88 pounds and I have no idea how much I weigh now, but I know I weigh way more than that. And I thought, I don't fucking care. I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm the happiest and the healthiest emotionally and mentally I've ever been. And my body will catch up and so will yours. So don't put anything on yourself. That's it, you guys. I love you so much. I know this went really long today, but you know, I just wanted you to know that you are special, that you are worth it, 
and it's time. Make that change. That new fire, that airy season is around the corner. So just breathe it out, man. Just fucking just chill. And then next week or on the 20th and that weekend, next weekend, we are going to celebrate like it's 1999, as Prince would say. But as of right now, in real time, don't forget to turn your clocks back. Or if you are freaking out because you're like, what's going on? Don't forget that we turned the clocks back. And even if you don't you know, do that. Other people do it on the planet. So it still fucks with everybody. So until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other. I love you so much. Bless you.